appears out of nowhere, fully developed uh, from scratch, and it's an, it comes in an algebraic shorthand that you can put into a computer, and the computer will actually understand what it says. Right, you're talking about a culture that was around long enough to remember the flood, and that was 12,000 years ago. So you begin to wonder what's going on here. And it gets weirder because it's also a bridge language uh, whose algorithm can be translated from one language into another. It's like a, it's like a, a universal dictionary. So who came up with this stuff? Uh, and here's the weirdest part of the story. Aymara is not the end of, uh, or the beginning of this development. It is based on an earlier language called Pukina, and it's also the name of uh, people. There's only about 3,000 Pukina left around Lake Titicaca. And they said, yeah, uh, we came from a sinking island in the middle of the big ocean over there. You may have heard about it called the Pacific. And um, we basically called it Mu'ul. Uh, uh, some people call it Lemuria. Uh, we don't know where that came from. That's an actual quote. We don't know who came up with Lemuria. We called it Mu'ul. And I said, you realize you just told me the name of the place of the homeland of the gods that the Maya also talk about. And they said, oh, really? They had the same name? And they were completely surprised. So uh, they said it sank during a global catastrophe. And then we worked with the gods. And uh, that we, we, we were great temple builders back in the day. And to a point where we even intermarried the gods. And I said, well, show me some examples of your handiwork. I said, we'd be glad to show you some 